What's up guys and welcome to a quick summary of a huge update coming to old school. Just a few days ago Jagex released a clans progress update blog and this thing is absolutely massive and today we're going to cover everything you need to know about the progress on clans in old school and this update's incredibly important because clans is the foundation that the long awaited group Iron Man mode will be built upon. So this is something I'm massively looking forward to and I know a bunch of other players are as well. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. First things first is the clan hub and this is essentially where everything will be started for clans. And I'm really happy with this decision and the initial design for the clan hub is to have it located in the southeastern corner of the Grand Exchange. Not this little area over here in the southwest. That is actually going to be the games corner they're going to be adding to the GE. But let's not ramble too much. Now let's go ahead and discuss creating a clan. You'll start by registering your clan with the clerk, which is located inside the hub. And you'll need at least five people within the hub to start your clan. And you can only create one clan per day. And once you have went through the initial process with the clerk, then your new clan panel will appear. And that's what's shown on this screen right here. And through this system, you'll be able to invite members, change the clan name, and confirm its creation. And how I just said that you can only create one clan per day, that only relates to clans that have been confirmed. Now moving on to ranks and permissions. Once the clan has been named and created, the owner now has the ability to give each member of the clan a rank and potential responsibilities. There are a few ranks not listed here, but we will read a few off the screen. The Deputy Owner, Marshal, General, Colonel, Major, Administrator, Captain, Commander. As you can see, there is a scroll bar and this list does continue. And another cool thing coming with this update is the Permissions tab. Not only can you rank your members, but you can also dictate different permissions depending on the ranks. But apart from assigning ranks, you can also assign permissions to specific ranks. For example, let's go ahead and look at Recruitment. This one's set on Colonel which means that anybody ranked colonel and above has the permission to recruit members into the clan. And you have the ability to change this. For example, I could change that to marshal. Therefore, the marshal and the deputy owner could be the only two people apart from the original owner to recruit people into the clan. Definitely a big fan of this addition that allows a lot of flexibility and uniqueness between different clans. Another small addition to this system is titles. Essentially, these allow you to change your clan ranks names, meaning I could change major to green, or I could change all of these into dragon names, bronze to dragon. Therefore, instead of having military ranks from lieutenant, commander, captain, you could go all the way up from bronze to dragon, which for some people would make it much more easy to determine who the higher ranks were among your clan. As mentioned down here, there will be 17 slots available in terms of your rank hierarchy, which is absolutely insane. But one important thing to note is the owner, deputy owner, and administrator ranks are all three required. No matter what, therefore you have the ability to change all of the other title names, but those three are a requirement. And if you're slightly confused by all of this weird abstract emblems, they have mentioned that they plan to have personalized icons for every single one of the ranks within this system. Now next up we have recruiting. And as you can see on screen right here, this is an example of a recruitment board post from a clan. You can see the clan size, the owner, when it was created, its name, its home worlds, and its interest. And you can even see here on the side what a potential person applying for the clan would see. Now if we flip flop point of views and now you're looking at it from the clan's point of view, you have the ability to invite applications. And then as soon as those applications come in, you can see the individual's combat level, all of their skill levels, and even prior to the applications, you have the ability to set requirements for total level and combat level. And here is another picture of the potential clan recruitment board. This time it even shows you from the point of view of looking for a clan. You have a filter system over here on the left where you can show only clans listed in this interest or close out clans that did not list this interest. And then over on the right of this picture, it shows all of the available clans that check out your filter system and even highlights specifically what you filtered in a brighter white color. And through that, you could apply to a specific clan if it fits your criteria. And that's also where you would list your clan if you were a clan owner yourself. And I'm not 100% sure, but if I did fail to mention it earlier, the clan recruitment board will be located in the clan hub, which is in the southeast of the GE. And right here is a picture of the current clan chat within old school and down here is the proposed clan chat. As you can tell, there is now three different sections and their intent is to call these chat channels, I believe. 
The first tap up here on the left is what is currently the clan chat right now. The second one is going to be what will be your new clan's actual chat. And then the final one down here is a icon pre-saved for the group Iron Man mode that could potentially be listed here as well. And that really covers everything you need to know about the clan update progress blog. Honestly, in my opinion, a really solid foundation. And we're finally making some serious progress towards a potential group Iron Man release later this year. And that's something I'm definitely pumped about. My prediction going into this was I figured this was probably going to be like a mid-year summer update and that is actually something they kind of confirmed. Yeah, right here, we hope to get this out to you towards the middle of the year. That's also something they posted at the beginning of this blog as well. And that was kind of my expectation or prediction going into this is that the clans update would be our mid-year summer update and then the group Iron Man would follow right around the same release time as all of the other Iron Man modes into old school. And that is a September, October, November release later in the year, which would honestly fit perfectly with all of their prior Iron Man releases. So hopefully that is the case. There are no further roadblocks we have to face, unlike 2020. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on this clan update, what you're happy to see, or what you think needs added. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider dropping a like. It massively helps these videos out. And if you do watch the videos, consider subscribing. But with that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.